Um, next, I'll show you parametrics. Um, so this is where you're, you're assigning multiple values to input variables. Um, and to do that, I've created another um, sample file that, um, let's see, let me just do it this way. Okay, so the base case. Again, this file will be available on the, on the website. Sorry, that's the same file I want. This one. Okay. So in this file, I've, um, I've got an example of each of the parametric simulation options. Um, and we'll start with parametrics. And I've annotated this file with notes. Uh, to use notes, you click the little note icon up here in the top right corner of the screen. Um, so we'll start with parametrics. Um, so this is a PV watt single owner um, case. And um, I'm going to show you how to use the parametric analysis to, or the parametric simulation option to look at the impact of the DC to AC ratio input on the PPA price and, and other metrics. So the DC to AC ratio is the input. Um, and we're, we're going to look at values of the DC to AC ratio from 1 to 1 1.6. So to set that up, I would go to Quick Setup, add my variable, so DC to AC. So this is a list of all the inputs in my case. I can either just scroll through them by hand and check the ones that I want to include in my parametric analysis, or I can filter the list by typing a few letters of the variable's name. Um, so this DC to AC ratio is the variable I want. It's checked. I click OK. And then once I have the variables that I want in my parametric analysis in the list here, I can, I can have more than one. For this example, I'll just have one. Then I uh, assign values to the variable. So I can either click Edit here or double click the name here. And that gives me this little tool um, that I can use to automatically assign values to the variable. So I want a range that starts at 1, ends at 1.6, increments by 0.1. And I click Update, and that populates the numbers here. Um, and then I click OK. And yes. And now there's the, ver there's the values, the variable values that I wanted. And then the next thing I want to do is to choose the outputs to put in this table. They're already here because I set this up in advance. But the way I did that was to click Output and then just uh, go through the list until I found the ones I wanted to look at and check those. And then this is the, a big difference from old versions of SAM um, is that we have, you, you run these special simulations within their own window. So you don't use the main simulate button here, but you click run simulations here. And then I have my results. And what I can see from these results is that to minimize PPA price, given my assumptions, I need a DC to AC ratio of about 1.2. The lowest PPA price is 1.2. And then Sam shows me some graphs here, um, which I can scroll through. You can also export this data to CSV or Excel. For those of you using a Mac, the Send to Excel option is not available. Um, so you can just save it as a CSV and then open that CSV file in Excel. All right, so that's a quick intro to, um, to parametrics. Um, I want to show one other parametrics example um, briefly. So I'm going to create a new file here. So this is a common parametric uh, analysis for you CSP folks out there. Um, so if let's, let's say we're looking at a, a, a parabolic trough system. I'm going to create a parabolic trough model with the single owner financial model. And what I want to do is, is, is find the optimal um, combination of solar multiple and storage capacity um, for, for a given location. So I'm just going to go with the default case. I haven't changed any inputs. For, for a real project, you'd be changing all, all your assumptions before you do this. Um, and then I'll do the quick setup. So I want to I want to um, add solar multiple and um, TES 
hours of storage. So full lo load hours of TES is the name of the variable that defines the storage capacity for the trough model. I add those two variables, and now I want to um, assign the, the values. So for solar multiple, let's say I'll go from 1 to 2.75, or let's say 1.25 in increments of 0.25. Now when you're setting up these uh, parametric simulations, the more variables and values you add, the more simulations SAM has to run. Um, and the longer it takes. So you want to be strategic about how you assign these values to sort of minimize the number of runs. You want to be efficient in, in your runs. Often times it makes more sense to run a lot of smaller parametric runs rather than setting up a huge giant parametric run with lots of values. Because um, if you make a mistake somewhere in the process, you waste time waiting for things to run. So um, there's my, there are my inputs. Um, that overwrites the table. The table's too short to show all my input, so I'll expand it here. And then for the outputs here, I want PPA price. Um, I'll just show that for now. So we're going to figure out what combination of, of solar field size and, and storage capacity we need uh, to minimize the PPA price. So that's going to be 35 runs. I'm going to run simulations. Um, and you can see Sam is using all four cores of my, my um, fancy computer here. Um, and this is going to take a little while um, with those 35 runs with the physical trough model. Um, so, But if I switch over to the other file where I, where I already set this up, we can um, see what the results look like. Um, and I can go through here and see that the lowest PPA price is here at solar multiple of two and full load hours of, uh, and three hours of storage capacity. Um, and then, that, again, you can export this to Excel if you want to create graphs and so on. Um, 